The technique I'm using out here, uh, we call it ice trolling. What you do is you just take your sonar. We've got a huge grid of holes in, that we drilled this morning. And what you do is you just go around with your sonar until you mark suspended fish that you'll see on your sonar. And as soon as you do that, you stay in that hole and you fish it. And I like to fish up high above them, particularly for crappies. Because uh, it'll pick off the more aggressive ones. They'll swim all the way up to it and hopefully bite. If you drop down in the fish, a lot of the a lot of the times they won't uh, they won't bite. But if, like I said, if you jig above them, they'll stay a little more aggressive and they'll come up and get it. Uh, but like right now, I've just lost all the fish in this hole, so now it's time for me to start looking for another one. So I hopped around and I found some fish in this hole here. It took me about 10 or 12 holes before I started marking some again. Now hopefully we're going to pick some off off of this, this school that's down there, but they've seemed a little negative today. Hopefully we can turn some of those sniffers into biters. Now when I'm jigging this meat, I just want to keep the rod tip moving real gently and it's so soft and supple that it just flows. And with this bait, the longer it's in the water, the softer it's gonna get. And it keeps emitting the oils from the natural port that's in it and the scent that they soak it in. So it's a really good bait. And like I said, you just want it, as you see my rod tip, just slowly pulsate it. And it's down there swimming like it's a real minnow. And the crappies can't stand it. In this case, the bluegills love it too, but today we're fishing for mainly crappies. There's a few bluegills mixed in, but the crappies seem to be biting a lot better than anything else. Oh, and I just missed one there. They're really light biters. I'm using a spring bobber today, and typically with a crappie, you'll watch your spring and you'll see one real light tick. Sometimes you won't even see that. And you'll see the weight of your jig go off the spring. They'll actually lift the bait and knock slack in your line, and that makes the spring pop up a little bit. Ooh, this is a good one. Oh, oh. that's one of the nicest crappies all day just engulfed that Uncle Josh meat. It's a three millimeter Fisca with a piece of red Uncle Josh meat, the bigger segment of the leech. Really good bait. I think we'll let this one go. It's probably a female. One of the better ones today. 